Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim and today I am going to be walking through the Artful uh, box. This is the March-May 2001 box and um, it only just arrived today so I'm really excited. This is the first box I've ordered. Uh, I did want the January box but they sold out. Uh, they did actually say that they were going to send me that box as well and um, I haven't received it yet so I might reach out to the customer support um, but yeah, uh, I have no idea what's in here yet. Uh, the box is very, very pretty. It is ever so slightly damaged on the corner there, but you know, it's anything that's come through the mail like this, it's, you know, it doesn't look like, it, then again, I think it will be damaged inside. So, um, judging by the box, um, I was thinking maybe watercolours, which is actually a shame because um, I've already got quite a lot of watercolours and I've got gouache and stuff as well. Um, so I am, very, very uh, hopeful that it's going to be something different. My boyfriend actually thought it was going to be something through like colour pencils or something. So I guess we shall see. Uh, it looks like it's got a little bit of a tab to open it. <laughs> it's a good sound. Okay, so it looks, looking at by judging by this, it looks like um, they are some sort of either felt-tip pen or watercolour type pen. Uh, it says water-based, so I'm guessing they're actually watercolour pens. Um, they're called Tombow and it says, Tombow was founded in Japan in 1913 as a pencil manufacturer. So the range includes the iconic ABT dual brush pens available in a multiple of colours, um, a calligraphy pen and the ABT Pro and Ribbit twin tone markers. Okay, so I've never dealt with these before. I've never actually had, um, well, I call them fancy fat tips. <laughs> but it says for colouring, drawing, illustration, brush, lettering, doodling, journaling and more. So that is quite exciting that we have. Um, these looks like quite thick card stock. They are actually cards, I think. But, yep, yeah, so we've got a couple of like little cards that has the art colours on the back. Um, but yeah, I would just say that, that was quite thick card stock, um, which would be suitable for this kind of pen. And they've got a little envelope there. Uh, and there is three of those. No, there's four. There's four little cards. Uh, next we have this um, folder, I don't know what's in here, I guess we'll have to find out. It's got this little ribbon on it. Oh, I've not used one of these in years, how exciting. Uh, and that is where all the pens are. <laughs> so, Tomboy ABT water based. Got a nice brush tip on them there. I've just I've got a piece of paper. I'm just trying to against that. It, okay, it is a flexible brush tip, um, so it, it'll uh, it'll uh, bend as you push it down. And they've also got a look like uh, almost like a bullet um, standard felt tip kind of. Um, there was a camera there. <laughs> uh, end on them there as well. Okay, so, uh, and they are all labelled with their colours, they're quite, um, quite like weight pens actually, they're, they're, they feel quite nice in your hands. Okay, so there it is, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colours. Um, it's not the most massive range of colours. Um, and then there's a black as well. And then we have, these are their two-tone pens. It says twin two-tone. Right, so I'm not entirely sure what the two-tone means just yet. They've got a very fine nib on them um, there. And 
on the other side again that's not a brush that's more of a, of a tip sort of stamp pen that's not a brush pen um, and there's five of those some pretty standard colors they're not primary colors though so it'd be interesting uh, we have a hair quality it's a hb it's a hb pencil an eraser it's a plastic eraser and we also have a bristol paper it's 120 pounds um and it's, so it's a standard a4 paper so yeah i think that's what that is actually quite just basic paper um 120 pounds that that should be uh, so 250 grams per meter square so that's it should be fairly uh, very substantial in order to use something like that tips down without it bleeding through but that'd be interesting to try that out and then this is their little magazine which comes with all their boxes so i can imagine in here it is going to tell you what they are as well as um the sort of things that you can do with them so it's given you a little bit of a, a overview of um history of typography <laughs> the art of lettering, I would say. Um, and it's going over so the different fonts. So it is quite heavily um, calligraphy themed, I think. Um, and in here, so there's a rainbow calligraphy tutorial. Uh, how the art box was made. Looking foxy tutorial. I love foxes, so that's actually quite exciting. There's a little fox there for you to draw. Um, Behind the scenes, some interviews with um, some artists um, and a couple of tutorials. There's also some like little lettering guides in there as well to help you practice some calligraphy. Now, I've never actually done any calligraphy before, so it's something I've always actually wanted to try. I wouldn't say that I'd go out of my way to try it, but um, I guess this is kind of like the point of these boxes for me. I'm kind of hoping that they provide stuff that I've not tried before um, and just give me like, you know, something new new to try. I'm always willing to um, try new things when it comes to arts and crafts. So um, the foxes look quite cute to be fair, so I'm definitely trying the, the little boxy tutorial. Okay, so these are water-based pens and it does actually mention in the tutorial um, that you can use a paintbrush. So you can apply a little bit of ink to the paper and then use a paintbrush to um, like spread the ink. So that's quite interesting. Um, you can't... In, I've used um, alcohol um, markers before and I actually sell my own brand of alcohol markers on Amazon. Um, but these um, water-based ones, uh, the, the, these will be different. You can blend them um, using water rather than the pens themselves so it's a different style um but yeah so that should be quite interesting um to have a dabble in okay so the pad of paper that it comes with is actually very very smooth um i was looking to see whether it was um cold pressed or hot pressed paper i think it's hot pressed but it doesn't say it just says smooth paper, bright white, high opacity and acid free, suitable for colour gradients and layering, suitable for water brace push pens, alcohol based markers, fine linens, pencils and ink. So this is Tombow's own um, pad this. So it's the same make as the pens. So we'll give this a little go. So don't judge my calligraphy skills because I don't have any. <laughs> but they are quite nice to write with. They are quite smooth. And you can get some quite nice um, fine details with the, uh, the, the, the smaller side. I am wondering how well these things will blend. So the two-toned, I'm not entirely sure how these so that is, the two-tone is like, the small point of that is very much like a, um, a ballpoint pen. So you can get some very, very fine lines with that.
everyone writes their name, don't they? So, I am curious to see how the two tones work and how they're different to just a normal pen. So I've just got a clean watercolour brush here um, and some water and I'm just going to see how they do react to water on the page and so far before we start putting water on it, let's just check that it's on the page. Yeah, there's no bleed through at the moment um, so we'll see how it goes with the water. Okay, so it definitely softens the um, the colour and does bleed it out quite well. There's no the water's not soaking through the the page. I think so long as you don't get it really really wet, um, it's not going to be an issue. The black does seem to be spreading a lot more than the colours did the blue did the way. I know this is actually looking like a complete mess right now, but I just wanted to see how well they did blend um, after the, the pens would sit on the page for a while. So yeah, they seem to be doing quite well, particularly the black. And I can just keep adding clean water and spreading that. So you could probably create some quite good shadowy effects um, with with these pens, definitely. And having two colours on top of each other by adding water, you can uh, then blend blend the colours. No, I don't think the two tones are actually water soluble. Um, I'm not really sure why they're called two tone, twi uh, twin tone, um, because they don't like change colour or anything like that. Um, I don't know whether it's just because they've got two different nibs on them. Um, I mean, they're nice pens, don't get me wrong, but I'm not, like I said, I'm not entirely sure why they're called two tone. I will try and add some water to them just to see what happens. Uh, they are actually spread in a little bit. I mean, nice green with the uh, the blue and the yellow there. So excuse me, they do actually blend quite well. They uh, the ink does spread quite well on those. So yeah, um, I will hopefully do some pieces of this over this weekend, and um, I'll probably put them on my Instagram. Um, so do follow along if you're interested to see, I will pop them in on Instagram so that you guys can check that out. So that was it for today's video guys, um, I, I'm quite pleased with them, it's not quite what I expected, as I said, from the look of the box I probably thought they were going to be um, watercolours or something like that, but yeah, water based pens is something that I've never played with before, so it could be interesting to try. Uh, these boxes are 30, about £35 um, from Artful, um, they do sometimes have a a promo code on for new customers so definitely have a look to see if you can get one of those um yeah um it's kind of exciting really uh, to have something unexpectedly come through your mailbox um if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel uh, i will be posting more creative stuff in the future um right now i am kind of focusing on my pregnancy journey um because i am currently trying to conceive um but hopefully and um, that means that we are going to have plenty of time to lie uh, in the future <laughs> to um, create more pieces of art. You can also follow me on Pinterest and Instagram and I do have a blog as well. So I pop all those links down below on this video and I will see you next time.